What is up guys? Hello. Hi friends. Hi, so we are not in Manchester today actually. Ooh. Yeah. I don't know if you know the venue behind us, but obviously you would have seen on the title. We're in Liverpool today and why are we in Liverpool? So we're here at EBGB's in Liverpool and tonight we are going to be chatting with Dystopian Sun who are headlining the show here in Liverpool. There's also some really, really good support bands as well. But yeah, um, we're just outside the venue now. We're going to go in and obviously get set up and get everything sorted. But yeah, are you excited? Yeah, I'm super excited. Like it's cool to be back in Liverpool. It's good to go to a different city. Like obviously, if you frequent our videos, you'll see that we're always in Manchester. So yeah. it's really cool to come to a completely different city again this venue as well is killer i really enjoy yeah EGBs. we've done um, a few gigs here in this venue and we've done a few interviews in this venue as well and it's always such a good time so. always really really cool right now we're just across the road and we're underneath like this funky like <laughs> lilac light and it's just making the hair just like illuminate <laughs> but yeah it's cool yeah i'm excited we're gonna go in get set up get ready maybe have a little cheeky beer before and and then we're going to enjoy some sick music. Yeah, it's going to be good. So, I'm excited for this one. No. Let's go. Bye. Where are we going? Well, well, we here. That's it. There's an Irish bar across the way. <laughs> Yeah, it's it's a really cool little little bar, yeah. And they do a cracking pie Guinness. Obviously, it's an Irish pub. So let's go and have a nice little beer. Hello. Hello. What? Well, I was gonna say, what did you get? But let's be real. Well, yeah, it's me. <laughs> and we're also in an Irish bar, so. It's <laughs> a nice looking pie Guinness. Go on, give it a try. Tell me what you think. Guinness, you can't go wrong, um, but it is delicious. Rate it out of 10. Well, we're doing that, are we? Yeah, right, we are. Okay. Yeah. It's smooth, it's delicious, it's Guinness, it's beautiful, it's, it's, a, nice one. it's a good 9 out of 10. 8, eight 9 out of 10. Okay, oh, yeah. I just got a blue hooch because I'm a basic bitch, as we all know. So. It's actually gigs in there. <laughs> Put it in a fun can. Hey, but you'll be having a very good pint of Guinness soon. Oh, I sure will, yeah. Stay tuned for that one. <laughs> we hint, hint. So, as you've just seen, we've just come into this Irish bar. We don't come to Liverpool very often, and we really like this bar, so when in Rome. <laughs> but yeah, we are going to see some of the support bands, but they're just not on yet, so... That's it, we've just uh, gone to the venue. We've got our little crosses on our hands. I can't put mine on the back of my hand because I have no space. Yeah, same here, so mine's on my other hand that's yeah, holding yeah, the camera. So we've got our little crosses. We met the promoter. He seems like a really cool guy. Yeah. Uh, thanks for inviting us down as well. So big big love. Um, and we're just uh, having a little jar waiting by bad in our time and then uh, I'm super excited the supports are really cool yeah they so are. it's gonna be really really good yeah yeah great support great headliner we are gonna be chatting to the headliner in a little bit but they've just gone for food so we're just gonna wait for them to come back before we do that and then it's gonna be a night of music after that and yeah. good music too it's gonna be super cool so I'm super excited yeah, yeah. so stay tuned and we'll see you guys in a little while Hi guys, so we're here with Dystopian Sun. Um, first things first, would you guys like to introduce yourself and say what you do in the band? I'm Jack, I do vocals. I'm Lewis, I do lead guitar. Uh, my name's Reese and I play rhythm guitar. He's a number, I think. We don't know where he's from, um, but he smacks the, the skins. Touche. <laughs> yeah. We're not quite sure where he came from either. Smacks the skins. <laughs> so... From what I've heard from you guys, this is your first time playing in Liverpool, right? And you're headlining the show tonight. How are you feeling about that? Uh... <laughs> <laughs> no, it's sick. It's it's one of those things that we like to do where if we're you know you know if we're on the road for ages, that we get to tick off as many places as possible as like new places to play. So Liverpool, although it's not that far away from us, it's like an hour and a half down the road. We've it's taken us a while to get here. Mm -hmm. Like I don't know why, but. 
We made it though. We made it! <laughs> Look, Mum, I'm famous, I think. Maybe, I don't know. <laughs> Probably not. Yeah, it's, it's a bit of a, um, like a bittersweet moment as well, because like, this is our last show of the year. So it's like really exciting to be in Liverpool, obviously, but it's also quite sad that it's the last show as well. So we're trying to be in the moment and make the most of it, I think. Promoters, we are free November. Whenever you want us, <laughs> lads, we're fucking have us, you know what I mean? <laughs> so earlier on this year, you released a new album called Ignite the Hatred. Do you want to chat to us a little bit about that and like the writing process and inspirations? Yeah, we can do. Um, so the whole... <laughs> these two dicking around. Um, the whole sort of writing process really is everybody comes up with their own little snippets. If it's riffs or lyrics or like drum patterns or whatever, then we sort of all congregate together and write them all down and it's normally everybody comes to me and I'll put them all down on the PC and we'll sort of strip it apart, put it back together again um, until we're happy with it. Uh, and the whole the whole sort of premise of Ignite the Hatred, which feels really old now, even though it's this year, yeah. Um, the whole premise behind it was just being okay with being a bit weird, I think. Like, you know, you can, you can be sort of you can have negative traits about yourself and you can not be very confident with things whether it's like you know you don't you don't like the way you look or the way that you act around people or you, you're anxious about this that and the other but it's okay and it's about embracing that yeah that's spot on literally just about embracing like every single part of you whether it's positive negative we're all, we're all human like we all make mistakes and stuff so it's just about being with peace with that well, we've listened to the album and we absolutely love it, and we think it's brilliant. Um, so, next question. I'm looking at you specifically. Um, you might recognise this fella. <laughs> um, Not without so, the face paint. <laughs> so, you've had some lineup changes and got some new people. Hello, welcome Hi. to Dystopian Sun. Thank you. <laughs> what inspired you to join this band? Um, I saw these guys playing Macclesfield mm -hmm. uh, for Swanload, and I was absolutely like struck, like awestruck at Jack's vocals, the drumming, the guitar playing, the bass, everything. It was just like phenomenal, and I was like, "Whoa, okay, so this is like something." And then I saw they were looking for a, a new guitarist. As soon as I saw it, I went boom straight on because I knew I knew the sound, I knew like. The, the style of the song and I was like it was something new and different for me I was like you know what I'm going to jump on it I'm going to give it my absolute all and so is this your permanent residency now with Dystopian Sun yes it is yeah wholeheartedly I'm absolutely in I travel from Manchester to Bangor I'll do it whenever this is what I signed up for because the music's good the people are absolutely amazing I love them all like family so yeah. like that's the one I'm in this like fucking two right nice one man <laughs> yeah Pleasure having you, bro. Fucking love, I love you guys so much, honestly. Oh, this is talking kiss. No, <laughs> oh my god. Oh. <laughs> so I know you said this is your last gig of the year, but after this, now what are your plans for the future in terms of dystopian sum? Um, so we've got, we do have a few things booked ready for next year, which I don't think they've been promoted yet, so I don't know. If I should really say anything about that, yeah. <laughs> anyway, um, <laughs> but I think for the next, up until Christmas at least, I think we're just going to be writing. Um, yeah. yeah, I don't really want to spoil anything. <laughs> there's, a load of, I, like, there's a load of cool stuff coming, isn't there? Yeah. Like, uh, yeah, it's one of those things where it's so new in the pipeline for us, we just want to internalise it first before we announce it all. And I'm yeah. loving the writing process at the minute. Like I'm sending these guys riffs and new lead lines, and they're like, "Holy shit, dude, this is amazing!" And then Jack takes it away, comes back, and then this is an absolute beast of an idea of a tune. And I'm just like, "More, it's brilliant." More, though, it, like it's that thing where that there was like a when you first came in, we sort of had a trial at writing some tunes, didn't we? And he sent in this lead line, which was phenomenal. And we sort of passed it around ourselves, and like the, the product that came out at the end of it, we were all like, "Okay, yeah, this is going to be this is going to be a new chapter. This mm -hmm. is going to be sick, yeah, for sure." This is absolutely next level. I like. There's nothing stopping us now. Sky's the limit. Yeah. I'm really excited to see what you guys come out with next because everything you've done so far has been incredible. Like we listen to your albums at home and stuff, and we really, really enjoy them. And when we saw you announce the show in Liverpool, we were like. I messaged you straight away and I was like, we're there, let's do it, let's make it happen. But yeah, so if people like what they see and they want to check you out, where can they find you on social media? Literally, I believe we're on everything. So we're on, I think it's just uh, Dystopian Sun. 
Um, we're on TikTok, Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, YouTube. Um, I don't think I'm forgetting anything. But I mean, if you are, we're probably on it. Yeah. <laughs> Spotify. Spotify, thank you, yeah. Well, we'll put all of your links down below so people can check you out. Thank you. And yeah, thank you so much for taking the time to chat oh, to us. We you. really, really appreciate it. Always a pleasure. Always a pleasure with the alt couple. We're very excited to see your set tonight, which is coming up very, very soon. Are you ready? Uh, <laughs> in f- 40 minutes. Oh, shit. <laughs> Let's get it on, boys. Still time for a beer beforehand. <laughs> <laughs> right, thank you so much, guys. It's been a pleasure, and we'll see you soon. Thank Bye. You. See you soon. Woo! That's it. But I can reach the ceiling! This has never happened before! Bear it in mind, like... <laughs> it's quite a low ceiling. But yeah. Don't ruin the illusion! Look how tall I am! Yay! Actually, it's really high. Look, I can't even reach the ceiling. It's like the first time this has ever happened in my life. I can touch the ceiling.
put you down the middle. Now I want you to respectfully, apparently play with each other's nipples. What the fuck are you doing, guys? <laughs> Remember when Quiggins used to be like the place to go for emos in Liverpool? <laughs> I remember when I was in year 11 of high school. Sorry, there's someone coming out of the door, so I'm just going to move the over this way. <laughs> but yeah, when I was in year 11 of high school and you had to do like work experience, I did my work experience in Quiggins. That's it. So this used to be, it's now a hotel, but this little venue over here literally used to be like the place to go just to explain it was like liverpool's version of atflex in manchester and atflex for people that don't know is kind of like camden market 
And for people that yeah. don't know about Camden Market, it's basically where people buy emo clothes. Yeah, <laughs> like when I was a teenager, I wow. fucking lived in Quiggins and I got so much of my emo stuff from Quiggins. I even did work experience there. This is it, like back <laughs> in the day, we're talking 2007, 2008, 2009, yeah. all these kind of when emos were all rife in the town. You've also just out exposed yeah. all over there. <laughs> back in 2023, I mean. <laughs> But yeah, this was a place that people used to go to. It used to be called Quiggins. Now, it's just a hotel. I haven't been a teenager for 10 years. <laughs> she hasn't been a teenager for 10 years. I haven't been a teenager for two years. <laughs> Shut up, you liar. I'm only 20 years old. 21. Um, plus 10. Plus 10. <laughs> plus the 80. <laughs> no, but I'm, I'm still 21 young. plus the 80 work that one out <laughs> anyway we are back and we have just seen dystopian sun it was so good yeah they were fucking sick yeah like that was such a good set and what a good cool venue as well and we talked to the promoter what a good guy yeah. that was his first ever show that they put on and honestly absolutely killed it make sure you go follow vanquish promotions on instagram because if that's his first show i can't wait to that's see it. what if he's got next so put a stacked lineup like that on yeah for your first show there's definitely big things coming yeah <laughs> so uh, go check out vanquish promotions on instagram yeah. make sure you go show dystopian sun some love as well yeah and yeah we're on our way to lime street now to get our last we're, train we're, Pacing our way back to Lion Street because no one wants to get that uh, kind of call to your parents to go home. I actually think my mum might shoot me <laughs> if I ring her again and yeah. be like, Will you be me up? Yeah, we are now wandering our way down to Lion Street. It's been such a good night. Um, do you know what? I think we need to pick up the pace. So we'll see you on the train. We'll see you on the train. Bye. Let's go. Hi, we made it. Hi, I'm also here. Yeah, uh, the train is really loud and it's really busy and we keep getting interrupted. It is a Friday so, night. yeah, um, we'll fill you in properly when we get home. But we made the last train home, so I'll speak to you it's soon. It's not even left yet. <laughs> well, let's go. Yay! I'll speak to you when we get home. Bye. And just like that, we are home. And surprise, there's a little little man in the video. He hasn't <laughs> been in the videos for a while, so we thought we'd include him. So here's yeah. our little chilly vet. That's it, little man. <laughs> Hello. A <Her> baby. <laughs> <laughs> so let's get right to the point. How was the gig for you, sweetie? So it was incredible. Like genuinely, like all the bands absolutely killed it. Big shout out to everyone that played tonight. Yeah. Big shout out to the venue and big shout out to the promoter first ever time putting on the gig and absolutely what a stacked lineup and what a brilliant set that was yeah literally every single band that played you absolutely smashed it you did an incredible job make sure you go show all of the bands some love even though they're not featured in the video i will put the mm. links in the description below so that you can go check them out but yeah a uh, big thank you to dystopian sun for actually chatting to us and spending some time with us we really really appreciate it yeah. And yeah, literally, Banquist Promotions, this is the first gig they've ever done, and it's absolutely interstellar. So again, links down below for absolutely mm -hmm. everything. And yeah, we've literally had the best night. I've had such a good time, I don't know about you. Yeah, yeah, it was a really, really good set. Like, the entire gig, like, we checked out everybody that played tonight, and they were brilliant. Like, honestly, yeah. brilliant. Like, you couldn't, you couldn't put on a better first gig for your first promotion. Like. Literally, like, the lineup <laughs> tonight was absolutely, stacked like yeah. it was so so good and literally we had the best time and you know thank you we were invited back down by dystopian sun and we were invited down by the promoter as well absolutely mind-boggling like thank <laughs> you so much guys we really appreciate your support we also chatted with coop from the spoken metal show i'll put him down below as well we have a podcast with him so make sure you go check that out as well Ooh, yeah, that's on go Spotify. And check that one out. Yeah. exactly like we've literally had such a good night we've met so many great people we've chatted to so many people and it's just been such a lovely wholesome night yeah that's my idea of a very nice day out. <laughs> Pretty much, yeah. So we're going to have some food now and go to bed. Yes. So it's been lovely seeing you all again. And we'll see yeah, you very, we'll very soon. Be sure soon. to catch you in the next one. <laughs> so from us, see you later.
Don't forget to like and subscribe. Peace. Bye.